Hello, grade nine math class. Welcome back to another lesson. We have number four, perfect squares of numbers under 400. So in this lesson, we are going to be, the, be doing the opposite of what we did in lesson three, where we were multiplying two numbers together. We are going to be taking a larger number and seeing what two numbers multiplied together give us that number. It might be a little bit of trial and error. Um, as we become more familiar with squaring, um, and square rooting numbers, um, we are going to be able to figure these out much easier. So let's just start. Let's just start. We've got number four, or I guess the number four to begin with. So when we're doing these questions, you're going to be given them under a square root. I'm sorry that I don't have it included, um, but bear with me. We, this should be a four under a square root. Uh, and what that means is we are trying to find out what number multiplied by itself gets us four. So what number multiplied by itself, these two are the same number, equals four. Okay, so I'm thinking two times two gets us four. So the square root of four would equal two. So two would be our answer. If you're familiar with square or rooting, that's great. Um, if you're not, we can have a discussion as well. Uh, let's go to the next one, <clears throat> 49. So in this one, we're talking about 49 and under a square root sign. Again, it's not given in this one, but it is if you scroll down, if I scroll down in all the questions, the square root sign is given. So we're thinking what number multiplied by itself gets us 49? Well, last time we did six times six and it was 36. And we did eight times eight, which was 64. And those are two numbers that are right around there. Um, so seven times seven gets us 49. So that would be our answer. And in these questions, uh, you're only going to be given uh, numbers that have a perfect square. So a number, a whole number like seven, like eight, like nine, uh, that can be multiplied by itself to get these. So there's a very limited number of options essentially one through 20 are your options for these problems. Uh, let's go to the next one. We've got 144, push this up a bit. So again, we got our root sign of 144. Um, 10 times 10 I know is 100 and a fun one I like to remember, 11 times 11 is 121. Uh, there's some funny things that happen when you multiply 11 by itself a few times. Uh, but 121 is 11. If I keep going up from there, uh, 12 times 12 does get us 144. So this would be the square root of 144 would be 12. If we keep going, next one is 225. We could do long division with 14 and see how it goes. We could do it with 15 and see how it goes. We go do it with 16, and I encourage you to trial and error, uh, long dividing these problems, uh, if you're not sure what it is immediately. Um, but 15 divides into 225 15 times. And again, you will become more familiar with these, uh, but long division and trial and error are absolutely your friend in these cases. Uh, thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you soon.